access to you is not free. So it is time for you to raise your prices. It is time for you to set better boundaries with the people that are coming towards you, with the people that are already in your lives. You have to say no, or you have to limit your interactions with people because you're because either you've already elevated and you still have people around you that treat you like you're you're still at this low vibrational energy or either you're in the process of elevating and some people they just got to go. They just can't come along with you, my love. They can't come along with you on this part on, on this part of the journey, on this leg of the journey. It's time for you to snip snip, cut them off, let them go. For those of you that have businesses, it's time for you to raise your prices. The price went up Every year, most businesses do price increases. Well, we're closing out 2023 and we're coming into a brand new year, 2024. It's time to raise those prices because access to you is not free. So begin to set up those boundaries. Begin to take inventory of the people that are in your life or the type of people that you have around you and ask yourself, with where, with who I am and with where I am headed, are these the type of people that I want around me? Are these the type of people I want to connect with having this type of business and doing this and connecting with these people? Do I want to continue to bring these people to dinner? Do I want to continue to have these people over my home? Do I want to continue to talk on the phone with these people? Do I want to continue to text these people? Some of y'all need to change your phone number because they cannot have access to you. So for some, you all just need to set boundaries and limit your interaction with certain people. Certain people you may have to continue to have uh, interactions with. Let's say, for example, coworkers, family, situations like that. Or even maybe you're starting to grow apart from certain friends. It's time to start putting up those boundaries and saying, okay, yeah, we're starting to separate. Uh uh. Or those co workers, where it's like you really didn't want to connect with them in the first place because you already knew y'all was on two different levels. But you were being cordial. But now it's like, you know what? What am I doing? They don't deserve to have access to me. They don't even deserve a hello from me. So maybe just limit it to a hello so you're not rude going into work. But you get what I'm saying. You have to start setting those boundaries. You have to start raising your prices. The price of who you are. Even if it's not literal dollars. You have to raise your value. Your value has gone up. Who you are. The you, you know who you are. You know your intelligence. You know what you offer within your friendships, within your romantic connections, to your family, to your clients and your customers, however it, however it applies for you. So however this message is resonating with you, you need to begin to set those boundaries or limit access, raise those prices, raise your own value. Because the same people cannot continue to have access to you. And if they want access to you, it costs. They're going to have to pay to be on the phone with you. If you texting people and it ain't about the money, <laughs> what are you doing? You have to begin to know your own worth, your own value, and pay attention to the conversations that you're having. Pay attention to the environments that you are in. And if they are no longer conducive to you, you like, hey, I got to cut this off. I can't go party with y'all no more. I don't do those type of things no more. Oh, you think you better than us. I, I, I am better. I'm better than, you know, partaking in these particular activities because it's limiting me. And you already know that's your confirmation. If someone begins to react instead of being supportive of your decision, you already know that they wanted to keep you at the level you were at the whole time. They never wanted you to grow. They never wanted you to level up. They never wanted you to shine. Because they will say, in other words, all right, yeah, hey, dog, do your thing. I got you. Hit me up when you want. Hit me up when you can. Or either, hey, sis, yeah, I wish you luck. May you be prosperous. But how many people are really responding like that? So you'll be able to tell by how people respond or react if they was really rooting for you in the first place. Some people may be hurt 
but they're hurt because they ain't got that access because they're not willing to do the work to level up. And even if they are, sometimes connections just grow apart. So you have to begin to, again, raise your prices and limit the access that people have to you, especially going into this new year. Because, baby, I don't know about y'all. I don't know if y'all uh, peeked out the window, but it's a whole lot going on out here in this world. A whole lot. Everybody trying to get it how they getting it. So it's time for you to buckle down and focus on you and where you're headed. Focus on your journey. And everybody, it's like it's dead weight. It's like you trying to go, you know, like when you, you know, when you training and stuff like the, the track stars or you don't even have to be a track star, a, a sports player, anything, or you just exercise and you have the resistance behind you and you pull in the weights and it's like, man, it's, it's holding you down. But once you release those weights, you, you run into four, three or whatever it is, you know, four, four, whatever, four, two, whatever. You get what I'm saying? Three, four, I don't know how, you know, but y'all get what I'm saying. <laughs> Shout out to all my track stars out there. So at the end of the day, don't let people continue to hold you back. Because you're meant to go quicker. You're meant to speed up during this season. But if you're still hanging, hanging around the same people, if you don't raise your prices, if you don't put yourself on the level that you belong on, then... You're the one technically holding yourself back, not the people that you're around. So be bold, make that make that that necessary step and raise your prices. Don't be afraid. Raising prices, know your worth. Raising prices. You have to see what you offer to people, what you offer in, to the marketplace. What value you offer and price accordingly. Don't be afraid to set those boundaries. Don't be afraid to tell people no. Some of these connections may be very difficult, especially if they're family, or if especially if it's coworkers and it's people you still got to see every day. It may get a little weird, you know, but you, you have to do what you got to do. You got to protect yourself. You got to protect your energy. You can't be kiki in the lunchroom with them no more because of com the conversations they're having are low vibrational. Talking about Brenda and Glenda and everybody else. Like, nah, we ain't doing that no more. You get what I'm saying? So these are your messages. Thank you guys so much for tapping in to my radio frequency. You guys can give this message a thumbs up. Also, you guys can book your readings or your coaching down below in the description bar. And I will see y'all in the next one. I am Nayla Latrice. Peace.